somebody who uh, helped. Whoa, oh, we lost. Oh. Everyone who helped with the crowdfund recently, everyone who donated, everybody who paid up the crowdfund, everybody who put money in a bucket anytime we turned up with a bucket, really, really helped at the SPA conference with personal expenses. It's actually very difficult for us to do this. It's an awful lot of hard work, so please, uh, I'm making an appeal now. Support new media. Don't just take it for granted, okay? It, it could easily fold. Uh, what more can I say about new media? Um, Alan? Yeah, well, new media, obviously, this is our outlet, you know, because we're not getting it from mainstream. And I think, folks, we can we can see what's going to happen over the next year or so. Uh, we've already seen with the BBC, not just in Scotland, but beyond, that they're definitely, in terms of the news and current affairs, they're not an organisation to be trusted. So I think um, we need to we need to continue with our alternative ways of getting information. And that's what, I mean, new media is so important. It was important during the previous referendum we were starting from a very low base and we actually came pretty close to, to winning it last time and I think uh, now that we're in a you know in a better a better situation now I think we can we can uh, make more progress uh, but people have got to pass on information there's a lot of people who still don't pay attention to some of the, the media on the internet and there's a lot of good material there a lot of good writers a lot of good bloggers and if that information gets get, get spread around so that people know there's an alternative because people get so conditioned particularly the, the mention about some older people who are conditioned thinking that they trust the BBC and we can understand why but we really have to try and get that message